I am very sympathetic to you for having received this garbage, some of it at the hands of our friend the Bishop here. I'm very sympathetic indeed, and I think it's very sad and tragic that you should have been cut off from something that's so wonderful and only given garbage. But I would simply point out to you that if you look, if you, if you care about what constitutes what we call Western civilization, which now probably is coming to an end, and you were to consider the role that's been played in that by this thing that you treat as a piece of buffoonery, uh, you, would, you would have a certain humility in saying that you have been able, through making it, to, uh, to shed light but upon something. But you keep making the basic assumption, sorry, let me just say this, yeah. you keep making the basic assumption that we are ridiculing Christ and Christ's teaching, and I say that we are not. But do you imagine that your scene, for instance, of the Sermon on the Mount, the scene in, this, in your, your film of the Sermon on the Mount, right. is not ridiculing one of the most sublime utterances that any human being has ever spoken on this earth, of course it is. No, no, it's Absolutely making fun not. of the guy who's remembered it wrong and of the people who don't understand it and miss mm. the point. Well, I think, I that think that's really unfair because I think that a lot of people looking in will think that we have, we have actually ridiculed Christ yes. physically. Christ is played by an actor, Ken Colley. He speaks the words... Um, from the Sermon on the Mount. He's treated absolutely respectfully. The camera then pans away. We go to right to the back of the crowd to someone who shouts, speak up, mm. because they cannot hear him. <laughs> now, I mean, if that utterly, no, no, that that utterly only, undermines that faith isn't. in Christ, no, no, then I think faith cannot be turned that that say, I started off by saying that this is such a 10th rate film that I don't believe that it would disturb yes, I know you anybody's faith. with an faith. open mind. I realise that. I, 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 I said that. <laughs> John. John, can I put you a, que a, a question? Now, without I hope in any way sort of being pompous, I mean, I have been Bishop in, of South London now for over 20 years, and I'm appalled by the sadness, the unhappiness, the tragedy of life, and the, the drug scene, the, the, the violence, the muggings, and so on. And um, many people now are standing back with a measure of deep disturbance and horror. I was at the University at Cambridge only the Sunday before last, and I'm told how the undergraduates are now are turning up in chapel and seeking, seeing if Christianity has got something to offer. There, I think, I mean, most of us, I'm sure we'd be all, however much we may differ on, on, on this film, that we are deeply disturbed by what's going on in the world and in this country. Now, we are, there is a desire to find truth to find some answer to our problems. And the question, I mean, I would put to you, I mean, could you really put your hand on your heart and say that that film is going to help the younger generation absolutely. and its pilgrimage for truth? If they think well, about John, it, absolutely. The, the, the message is, what is it, Mike? What are the words? Uh, work it out for yourself. You're all individuals. Don't do what people tell you to do. And that's not the... the, the you that's find the, that a final, a sort of final... No, no, starting point. Starting point. Starting point. Starting point. Including and the lampooning of Christ. And what? the lampooning of his death, which is the most, the most no, disgraceful well, I part think that's of the whole just thing. Just Surely, Mark, it was the lampooning can't... of a form of death, which, which happened to You're hundreds of people. You're lampooning a scene which has been played an fantastic part in the lives of believers for generations, a scene that has inspired the most amazing, uh, amazing yeah. disinterestedness, creativity, that set St. Francis of Assisi wandering yes. about the streets, uh, th th that inspired St. Augustine <laughs> to write the City of God. That, this that I accept, but I all think that is true, and all you've done is well, to make a lot of people on the cross singing a music, a, a, a music hall song. Well, <laughs> and a lot of I mean, people, it's so disgusting when you think of it. A lot of see? people go away very happy, laughing at that, their faith not touched one jot. I don't think it'll I really touch do. Your faith. I, I don't think it'll touch And then we come back at this point. Yes. And a lot of people on the first Good Friday went away from Calvary laughing their heads off and thinking the death of Jesus was a tremendous joke. But that's very true, you know. Because, as a matter of fact, all you've done is to, for the person you followed in this film, is Herod. Because it was Herod who organised this absurd scene. And I'm only amazed that you didn't get some comic effects out of the, out of the crown of thorns. That's the only thing to, that puzzles Martha, me in the film. If you wanted to make a joke.
look out of Jesus, Jesus would have appeared on the cross. He was an actor. Yes. He was there in the film. Mm. He does not appear on no, the cross. You, Nowhere you make... at all. It's a gang of thieves, of common criminals, yes. who were at that time crucified in hundreds day by day. I mean, that's... I'm, I'm sorry, I know Could, that you think I'm wrong, but that's what I feel. I it is not Christ. I think it's a ludicrous thing, can because I, just say I that tell the, you that the, the people see this, 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 this is what the film's about. You Malcolm, can I just say that, 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 that the turn outsider, the crucifixion, um, is, is a much stronger event if one realises that Christ went through something that everybody went through. But if you if you treat it like something that only he went through, which well, is the image you get, well, I never realised well, I was about 16 was, uh, that I mean, if, everybody if, got crucified. If, 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 if he was crucified between... I also have to say that we have to... I mean, he was crucified between two thieves. If you're saying that the experience yes, they, of those three people was the same experience simply because they went through the same physical experience, then you are utterly misunderstanding what the crucifixion means, what the passion means, why it's had this enormous role in people's lives. It, it wouldn't have had that role if it was simply one of innumerable men dying on a cross. It's because of what it signified that, the, 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 that in, in terms of the incarnation, and of course you leave that all out of account. What you've done is you've made, you, you've succeeded in doing, and that for that reason it will have absolutely no influence in the long run, you have succeeded in reducing something which has inspired the greatest art into something which is presented in terms of the lowest art. If you That's your feet. Well, That's your feet. You set up your own terms that we have to influence people. We're not saying we want to influence no, people. I don't. We're trying to make them laugh, make yes. them happy. I mean, yes. it's, it's, that's something that helps. Gentlemen, really I'm going to have to call a horse. I'm very sorry. I think you've made people happy and made them think and made them laugh. And uh, <laughs> well, I, I think we'll I, make them talk about it. I can't well, you'll get your 30 pieces. <laughs> you'll get your 30 pieces of silver. Well, I, 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 I'm quite sure. <laughs> I hasten to add that. You're missing the most wonderful thing in life, and you're seeing it in those terms, and it's utterly tragic. Gentlemen, to me. thank you very much. Utterly um, tragic. I hope that that film My won't audience. shake anybody's faith. Paul Jones, to change the subject, has returned to his first love, the blues, and without in any way abandoning his acting career, for he's currently starring in a West End musical, he's spending a very good deal of his time behind a harmonica and a microphone in front of the blues band. Here they are with Boom Boom, Out Go the Lights. Lights. 